Hi, I'm Mark Man, and welcome back to Let's Play Game of Thrones: The Telltale Series. Lady Mira, wait. Tom, what is it? Guards, they're searching your room. Break it down. Search the place. <gasps> they're coming after us for the murder. The knife is in uh, there. We should have gotten rid of that ages ago. Come on, we can't stay here. There's a nice knife. What's going on, Tom? Sarah said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, my lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, my lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. That I did do. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. Anonymously. You mean someone's plotting against Andros, me? Andros, I assume. What was in the message? Murder accusations, most likely. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you, if they catch us. We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. <laughs> That's not gonna work. They won't touch us if we're with her. Lady Marjorie dismissed me. For good. What? What for? It's not important. Just... We can't count on her. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. I've had it, you haven't. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? Being near me is dangerous, Tom. Y you should get as far away as possible. Appreciate the thought, lady. But we're in this together. Oh, thank you. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Whatever it is, we can't stay here. Things are too dangerous for me here, Tom. I need to get back to Ironrath. There's a collier store by the River Gate, on Muddy Way. The owners are like family. You'll be safe. From there, we can get you out of King's Landing. Good plan. Who's there? Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. No, um, Get to the Colliers. Tell Godwin I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mia. The coal boy. Take him. Going back to Roderick? Yep. That's a big army. That's a battery. Gates are down. Archers at the ready. The foot soldiers are armed, for whatever that's worth. Talia and Elena. In the cellars, where they'll be safe. You should be with them, my lady. And let Lud think that I'm afraid. Roderick Forrester! By order of houses Whitehill, Bolton, and Baratheon, I order you to surrender your keep and present yourself for execution. <laughs> He must be shedding in his britches. Get your men off my land, Whitehill. And I might let you leave with your heart still beating. I can't do that, Roderick. Ramsay Snow said only one of our houses can survive. All that's left to determine is how you will die. Ryan, bring the gift. 
No. What's he doing? I brought you something to mount on your wall. Come on, lad. Hold it up so your brother can see. Is it Gwen's head? <laughs> no! Oh, fuck! It's Asher. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, you should have seen the rest of him. Oh, what's left after we fed it to the... <laughs> you fucking animal! How dare you! Oh, come now! I'd say he looks better! <laughs> Take the gate! Arrows, watch out! Get out of the way! That's why you have shields. Don't see a way to win this, personally. My lord! We must take action! Return fire! Return fire! Slaughter those pigs! Find me when the gate falls! Oh my god, he has the Skyrim helmet. I need to get off this bloody wall! That animal! He's taken everything from us. What's happening out there? Nothing good. This is Duncan's fault. I've been in many sieges, but because of him, the White Hills know our numbers, our defenses, the strength of our gate, and they're using Ryan as a human shield. I'd say we have hours, maybe less. Once they break that gate, Ironrath will fall. Ryan being out there is a hand tied behind our backs. Get to him. Yes, you must. For Asher. But how? They'll storm the keep the moment we open the gate. Then we don't go out the gate. Royland, the map. A small enough party could sneak out the postern gate. If we cut through the forest and along this hunting trail, We'd end up here, behind Lud's army. Sounds like a plan to me. We hit their camp, grab your brother, and maybe kill some White Hills while we're like at it. Sword to My lord, I'm all in favor of acting decisively. But if you're caught out there, it's all over. This war, your house, your brother's life. Mira may live, but your mother won't. Royland, if you have a better plan, now is the time to share it. I don't, my lord. Well, neither do I. Amaya, this is it. We're going to war. Are you with me or not? We are with you. Only because Asha already paid us. Then we leave this shit cold land. Fair enough. We'll either have won, or we'll all be- ah! Arrows! We need arrows! Royland, I'm trusting you with the defense of Ironrath. They may have greater numbers, but they have none of our fight. Good man. You must leave for your own welfare. So you'd cut me loose like some injured horse? Give me a moment. Elena, why aren't you inside? Your master wants to send me away. The Glenmores have cousins in the Riverlands. I've stood by you since the beginning, Roderick. If our nights together meant anything to you, tell him I belong here at Ironrath. Tell him I make my own choices. My lady, this is foolishness. Of course you do, Elena. This is your home now. Thank you. Unless she's dead, of course. Fuck. Roderick, we have to go now. May the gods be with you today, Roderick. I'll be waiting. The gate won't hold much longer. Let's go. Then follow me. Let's end this before they do. And we're cutting back to uh She's left the key! No, came back came back to Mira.
Why are we still dressing Search fancy? The area. Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! What's all this? Lord Morgren. How lovely to run into you. Mira Forrester! You're coming with us! <coughs> My good sirs, there's no need for that. Surely you have more dangerous criminals to deal with than Lady Marjorie's handmaiden. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. Or me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Thank you. Ooh. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate! Quick as you can! What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Oh yeah, Andros, I bet. Although, you've made short work of one of them, at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was sending cell swords to Ironrath. I couldn't let that happen. <laughs> no need to explain to me. I'm glad he's out of the way. I, I agree. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Identifying Andros as our common enemy while approaching me as a partner. You showed an understanding of King's Landing that took me years to gain. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a oh, handmaiden no, no, no. stealing a... the Crown's ironwood contract from under my He's nose. He's the traitor, isn't he? That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. I knew it! I never should have trusted you! Of course not. You should never trust anyone in King's Landing. That might have been your only mistake. But a costly one. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. The White Hills don't understand Ironwood. They can't take care of the forests. You may control the trade, but they'll run it into the ground. Only the foresters really know those woods. You're a fool not to see that. If they leave the hills bare, I'll find another forest. I couldn't care less, and neither should you, because you'll be dead. <laughs> We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! I liked him. Luca, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I've got her. You don't need to do this, Lucan. Whatever you think you know, we, we can work something out. Shut your liar's mouth. It's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. 
Chin up, Mera. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Well, that's not good, is it? Shit. <laughs> I assume things are worse beyond the wall. Got an army of whites coming to kill us, so that can't be good. Forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. I thought as much. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. No one at Ironrath knows of this. Not that I've ever heard. I suspected as much. Josera would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Whole big time. Few try. And fewer still live to tell about it. I wouldn't have made it alone. I had help from my friend, Cotter, and, and Sylvie. But they were following your lead. You were the one who was sent by House Forrester. I guess. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming. And we haven't much time. Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Svealod Mopre Befastan. That's a skeleton. That's a very far gone white too, isn't it? Nice. Ugh! <laughs> 
Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Can't help now you. his watch has ended. Pick up the ironwood torch. You don't... Yeah. Fine, don't pick up the ironwood torch. What do I care? You fought well. For a crow. Uh, I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. You fought well yourself. Or at least your bear did. <laughs> His name is Shadow. Nice name. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Well, this is an interesting power she has. Emotion is a weakness. According to her. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. They seem... fearless. That's what they've been trained for. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing. Not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. Here, let me help you. I'm fine. It's nothing. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Vicenir. Did you not hear me? Uh, no, it's a white, it's a white. Fulgorin! Sona! <laughs> what? Wait! Fulgorin Vicenir. Uh, okay, so she controls people's minds. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. Mm. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush our enemies south of the Wall. And avenge his death. You're right. House Forrester needs our help. We could return south. Think of what we could do. I'm sure we could convince Elsera to join us. I know what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. Oh, that's a shame. Back to Roderick? No, we're in the black cells with Mira. Human teeth. It's a rat hole. Oh, 
Rats. They're everywhere in King's Landing. I sure hope this isn't Chris's blood. Looks fresh. Looks like they didn't make it to the block. No way to get this alight. I wonder if I could use it for something else. Let's take it. And you somehow just shove that down our dress. Lovely. Uh, we know what the bucket's for. Ugh, Ugh disgusting. Jayla, please. Shut it! Please come here! How strong are these bars? I wonder what she's done. Excuse me. What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking. Jayla, Jayla, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Tell me, please. I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us. Straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgement to the Father. Whatever gods you believe in. I'm sorry, I, I meant no offence. But we have to keep our heads held high. Even when everything else is taken from us. Ha! I have a son. A little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. If we can, we're breaking her out too. Dignity is worthless compared to that. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. Doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. What do you want? What? Nothing to say. Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. Okay, give me your offer. I was thinking about what you said. And I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely ruin every forest under his control. Only foresters know how to really work ironwood. That's useful. And then I realized there's something much more valuable than your knowledge of trees, Mira. Your name. I want you as my wife. 
Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed mirror. Kingdoms too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Marrying me won't help you get Ironrath. The title belongs to my brother. He's the rightful lord. <laughs> I'm well aware of the king's law, Mira. You think I haven't thought about that? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> he marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive the battle. You don't know that! Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. If all this happens, I want revenge against Lud. Promise me he dies. Let me be clear, Mera. You're in no position to make demands. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. Oh, this guy's freaking evil as hell, okay. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that cowboy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? You will never have Iron Wrath, and you will never have me. What? You fool. I'd rather die. Fine. Have it your way. Well, at least we're gonna die with dignity. And we'll continue uh, next video with more of the North Grove. Till then, I've been Mark Dometto. Ciao. She Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you, li if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!